All right, ladies and gentlemen, in this next example, it says 20, 20 is what percent of 240? So exactly, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do is go through the exact same thing that I have um, done before. Just plug everything into, this, into your proportion. And then determine what you have. So we have part over whole, part percent over 100 percent. Now, let's just go and figure out. Do we have any percent that we have up there? No, so I have nothing to figure out for that. So that's actually what we're trying to figure out. So we'll do that as our x. Then, do we have a part and a whole? Yes, we have a part and our whole, which is 20 and 240. Now, one of the first steps we'll always want to do is simplify, 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 right? Always simplify before we can do anything. So I already noticed I can cancel out those zeros. I can already simplify this to 1 over 12, right? So that's not too bad. That's actually going to make this problem very simple. So now when I apply my cross product, I have x percent is equal to um, 1 times 100, or I'm sorry, 12, sorry. 12 times x percent is equal to 100%. What, here? I reduced 2 over 12, or sorry, 20 over 240 to 112. OK, that's basically me. So therefore, I need to multiply 12 times the x and the 1 times 100. So now I just needed to divide 12 on both sides. So. I'm just not going to write the x in the percent, but we can see that my answer is going to be as a percent. Um, so now I just need to say, well, how many times does 12 go into 100? Still waiting for how many times x goes 12 into 100. All right, so let's, so what we'll need to do is go back to our handy dandy long division. All right, because again, we're doing this. Sheldon, put your head up, please. So what we're again going doing with this is, again, working through long division. So 12 doesn't go into 10, but 12 does go into 100. How many times does 12 go into 100? Eight. Eight times. Eight times 12 is 96, correct? Subtract the two rows, 4. I cannot divide 12 into 4, so I have to create a decimal point. And when I create a decimal point, I bring an unlimited set of zeros. Then I bring down the 0. 12 does go into 40, though. 3 times. 3 times 12 is 36. And it's just going to start repeating. OK? Huh? So, well, it's not a, um, yeah. So therefore, it would be. Eight point, well, 40% 40, 40 would almost be 50%. So think about that. If 50% is 120, right? So you probably missed a decimal point or something in there. But your final answer would be 8.33. Got it, children? Your eyes look like bloodshot. 